Hello everyone, good morning to you. Welcome to another edition of Maps of the Operators. Today is Wednesday, 30th. Today is the end of the month. Uh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And today's topic is the sure foundation. The sure foundation. This is how we end our month. We do it with grand star. Praise the Lord. Before we start this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we glorify your holy name, we give you all the praise, we appreciate you. We thank you for who you are. Thank you for another day and a beautiful day at that. Thank you for your word that we have part of this center. And thank you, Father, for speaking through us. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Absolute of Realities. And to the topic is show the show foundation. Isaiah 28 verse 16 says, Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a dry stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Praise the Lord. That's Isaiah 28 verse 16. It matters the foundation upon which your life, upon which your life is built. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians 3.11 Christ is the only sure foundation. He must be the foundation of the sources. That way, when you face the adversary ends of life, you remain standing because you are founded upon the rock, Christ Jesus. The prophet Isaiah in our opening verse spoke prophetically about the stone that the Lord God would lay in Zion. And I want you to observe the way this stone is described. First, he referred to it as a tristone. Then he calls it a precious cornerstone. Thirdly, he refers to it as a sure foundation. Hallelujah. Being a tried stone means it has been tested and proven. As a precious cornerstone, it means it is most important stone for the stability of the building. Hallelujah. As a sure foundation, it means you can st stick your life on it. Praise the Lord. That is who the Lord Jesus is. He is the only true foundation upon which you should build your life. Praise the Lord. No wonder I said in Luke 6, 47 to 49, Whatsoever come to me and heareth my saying and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. Praise the Lord. And when the flood arose and stream beat vehemently upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not, is it like it's like a man that will touch the foundation built and has upon the hill? Praise the Lord. Against which the stream did it vehemently, and immediately it fell. Hallelujah. And the ruin of that house was great. Praise the Lord. Remember, the foundation is what makes the difference. Both houses in the in the illustration given by Jesus above, they confronted by the same flood. But the one with our foundation came to run. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let Christ be solid rock. Be the anchor of your life. Be a dwell of God's word. For that is how to build your life on the rock. That is what will keep you standing when all else falls. That is what will keep you in success and prosperity all your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful day to end our wow, November. Praise the Lord. God is your foundation. Jesus is your rock. That is what Pastor is trying to communicate to us this morning. Jesus is your rock. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Pastor is encouraging us that we should lay our foundation on Jesus. Praise the Lord. That is it. Our foundation will be success. Hallelujah, if you lay it on Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic, it's, a, it's very short and profound, 
a very wonderful topic. Praise the Lord. Let Christ, the solid word, be the anchor of your life. Be a doer of God's word, for that is how to build your life on the rock. Praise the Lord. Study the word of God. That is how you build your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is what will keep you standing when all else falls. When everyone is falling, that is how you stand by the word of God. Hallelujah. That is what will keep you in success uh, also and prosperity all your life through the word of God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. So stay on the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So without wisdom, let's take the confessions together. Dear Father, thank you for your word, which is my sure and firm foundation upon it. I rest secure and innovable, strengthened, rooted, and grounded. Your word is the rock that holds me, for it is dependable, reliable, and true. Thank you, Lord, for my triumphant life in and through the word. In Jesus' name, amen. For that study, you can look at Acts 20, 32, Mark 14, verse 31, and 1 Peter 2, verse 5 to 6. One year Bible reading plan, First John 1. To 2 verse 1 to 14 and Ezekiel 43 to 44. To your Bible reading plan, Revelations 4 verse 1 to 11 and Isaiah 13 to 14. So at a leisure time, please go through the scriptures and you've been deep blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you so much. I trust I've been blessed by today's devotional. I want to use opportunity for you. Yeah, you've not given your life to Christ. All you have to do is to pray the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is... Read your Bible, get to know God is, and know Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is. And bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there. Hallelujah. What the time we have this morning. Have you subscribed to my channel? If you've not done so, please do so. So every time I upload a video, you'll be first to notify. And please on Facebook, follow me at Flora Cooking Channel. May the Lord bless you. As if you come across this video, please share, share, share. God bless you as you do so. Amen. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you for this word that we have had this morning. And Father, yes, your word is our foundation, O Lord. Thank you, Father, for agreeing us and coming in today. Thank you for making every crooked way straight in our path today. Thank you, Father, for victory in Christ Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for you. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow. Grace of God. God bless you. Bye.